In this video we are going to have a look at radar reduction. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to zoom closer to the problem area. So I'm using my navigator and I'm zooming in closer so that I can see the eyes better. Right, now there we've got our problem areas. Now we need to select it. Now the reason we need to select it is if you use the tool without manually selecting the eyes, it will take all the colors that are similar to the red eyes in the picture and it will start to basically saturate it, which you don't want because it's going to look really funny. For instance, the lips will also start to become faded and desaturated because the color there is slightly similar to there. So what we need to do is to make a selection. So we go to the ellipse tool right here at the top and then we go to mode right here and you'll see if we've got this block selected it will replace the selection every time we make a new one. Now we need to select both eyes so we're going to have to set it to this one that's got two blocks here and it says add to current selection. So when I click on that it will allow me to make more than one selection. So I click there and I drag my circle. Now if I notice that the circle isn't the right shape as you can see right there I can click on the edges and I can modify my selection until I'm happy with it. I go to the next eye, click, I make my selection, and there, perfect. Now, when you use the tool, you will notice that if you've got the, the setting, the amount of how strong you want the tool to be, the red eye reduction tool, you can sometimes see where the red eye tool did its magic. It's going to have a very hard edge, so you'll see a desaturated eye and a full color skin tone. And that obviously will look very obvious that you've removed the red eyes. So what you do is you must first take the selection that you've got and you must feather it. So you make the edges of your selection softer. So it basically graduates the effect from the black and white or the desaturated eye into the color skin tone. So we go to select at the top and we go to feather. Click on that. And for this I'm going to use a setting of say 8 pixels. Now this will depend on image to image. Click on OK and you'll notice that the eyes there, the selection that I've made, changed slightly. The edges moved slightly. That's where that um, softening effect will happen. Now we go to Filters at the top and we go to Enhance and we go to Red Eye, red eye Removal. So it's Filters, Enhance and Red Eye Removal. So we click on that and we'll get a screen that looks like this. Now it's got a preview there, so when we take this slider and we choose the amount, the threshold that we want on the eyes, you'll be able to see it happen there. It won't happen here. So I'm going to take the slider to say 34. Now I can see the effect happening there. I'm going to zoom into that eye. And you can see that it's starting to take the red eye away. Take the slider all the way up to 55. Okay, that eye looks much better now. And this eye still needs some work. So I'm going to make the threshold more. Say 74. Let's look at the other eye again. Okay, both looks perfect. And then I just go click on OK. And it applies it here. To get rid of the selections, you just go to View. Sorry, to Select. And click on None. And there our selection is away, and so is our red eye problem. Just going to zoom out again. And I think you'll agree that that looks much, much better. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.